All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's just says, Shalom to the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. We're going on this quick little topic, you know, uh, as, as you see right here, it says, Planned Parenthood official taped discussion sale of aborted bo baby body parts, right? You know, where it's like, why are people surprised about them doing this uh, inhumane uh, things? You know what I'm saying? When abortions in, in itself are inhumane, you know? You can't say that one part is messed up and not speak on the whole entire problem, you know? This is the same thing as gay couples having children, you know? It's a cancer, it's disease, you know? It's sickness, you know? And this is all... You know, it's gonna. It, if you got a sin, it's gonna you're just gonna wax worse. You know, that's just what it is. You know, you 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 whether it's you you allow an adultery to continue. You know, that's one of the reasons why we put the the those homosexuals away. You know, adulterers away. That's one of the reasons why we put wickedness away from Israel. You know. Now, you got. I'm gonna go into the scriptures. You know, I try to make this as short as sweet as possible, right? This is Revelation 13, I mean 3 and 15. It says, I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither hat, I mean, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out my mouth. Now, you know, this is talking about, you know, Israelites, you know what I'm saying, in general, but I was using this scripture as a way of how our people, you know, they got the mentality of, well, as, as long as it ain't me having abortions, I don't care. You know, pro-choice. You know, as long as it ain't me that's a homosexual, I don't care. They can go ahead and be happy. You know, those people are what the scriptures refer to as lukewarm. You know, those people, you know, when, 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 when it's all said and done, you know, they're gonna they're gonna have to answer for that, you know. The Lord the Lord is gonna put them away, you know, and that's that's wisdom of this world, you know. Those people are uh wicked, you know, and they're um what the scriptures say, you know, condemning the uh the just, you know, and justifying the wicked, you know. Uh Proverbs three and five. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on onto your own understanding, you know. That's what that, that lukewarm uh, bull crap is, you know, leaning on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and depart from evil. You know, one way of how our people are wise, you know, in their own eyes is like they, they, they think it's okay to, to, to get um, sex changes, you know, they, they, they actually think that, you know. Joining hand in hand with with Esau, you know. Uh, Proverbs thirty and five, every word of the Most High is pure. He is a sealed unto them that put their trust in Him. Right, and I went into the precepts for this uh, this particular scriptures. Proverbs thirty and five, right. It says the word with Psalms twelve and six, right. It says. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace purified seven times, right? So the, the, the whole time, the, these scriptures, you know, in seven, you know, is the number of completion, you know? The, these scriptures, they don't, you're not going to go wrong if you um, follow into, um, following the, the, the word, you know, of the most high because it's pure, you know? It, it, it's not nothing wrong in these scriptures, right? Psalms eighteen and thirty. As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in Him. You know, where the 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 way that this society is going, you know, they trying to to say that. Um, well, if you speak out on homosexuality, you know. You 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 wrong. But if you put your trust in the Lord, you know He's gonna protect you. You know as the scriptures say, right? 
Now I'm going to continue. It says Psalms 19 and 8. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Um, I'm going to go to the, to the, to the next uh, scripture. It says Psalms 8, 1, 118 and 8. It says, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. You know, one of the ways that our people are putting confidence in, in man, you know, is is the um, the churches. You know, they let or, or, or even the hospitals. You know, they they allow these churches and the, the pastors and the doctors, you know, to say, okay, uh, don't do this. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or or you need to do that. But at the same time, you know, the scriptures tell you, you know, if you eat right, you 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 going you know be healthy. You know, you, that in order to eat right, you got to first, you know, go to 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 the Levi, Leviticus eleven, you know, but it says to to put your trust in the Lord. You know, if you if you trust in the Lord, you you read the laws and you understand that you try your best to keep those laws. You know, rather than going to a doctor and your doctor sitting up there telling you, okay, you need to cut back on uh on um pork. Or crabs or shrimp or whatever uh, abominable food that you guys eat, you know, and 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 then he give you pills, you know, in order for you to, to to make it, you know, get past the day when those pills are just suppressing you, you know, it's not really curing you. This is First John five and three, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous, right. Now, you you also got a lot of people that say, oh, God is all about love. But this is the love, you know. You keep his commandments, you know. This is how you prove that you love the, the Most High, you know, our Creator, you know. And it says that his commandments are not grievous, right? Uh, James 3 and 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable. Gentle and easy to be entreated, right? Entreated. You go into the blue letter. Entreated mean easily obeying, compliant. You know, it's easy. If the scripture earlier said that you know the commandments are not uh, grievous. You know, it's easy to 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 follow these laws. You know, the 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 wisdom. You know, it's easy to follow these things. It says, full of mercy and good fruits, without pars partiality, right? Going into partiality. It says, undistinguishable, unintelligible, right? It's, you, 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 you're not going to come into this, this, this scriptures, right? Main example or a good example is the rape doctrine. You know, there's no partiality in that. You know, if the woman is betrothed, then you know you can't lay with her. If she is, you 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 know, if the woman is betrothed, you cannot lay with her. But if she isn't, you know that that you can do whatever you want, man. You know, according to the scriptures, according to the law, as long as you following what the law say, you know. And it says, and without hypocrisy, you know, the Most High, our our Creator, is not a hypocrite. There's no uh, contradictions inside of these scriptures, man. So if you if you understood that and you read the Bible, then you understand that this shit right here is fucked up. Plant parenthood is fucked up. So in order for you to to, to see that they that they all of a sudden are selling aborted baby body parts, you got to realize that from the from the beginning, Plant Parenthood was messed up in in the first place, man. So with that, I want to say salam.